Greetings, miscreants, harlots, and cretins. It's Mike with Chasing Trail. Today is Saturday. It's another beautiful day. Pretty warm. Low 80s, I believe. Back out on a little bit of sunshine. She tried to do me dirty last night. My ride home, she was kind of surging and fogging under hard acceleration. Wasn't sure what the hell was going on. So I spent this morning going through stuff. Checked the air filter, that's good. I checked some of the vacuum lines, those were good. Checked my spark arrestor, make sure it wasn't clogged up. I actually tried to pull it out and clean it, but the little bolt that holds it in is completely seized. I can't get an appropriate size. It's a three millimeter Allen wrench and I can't get one in there. Feels a little bit stripped. I think it's probably stuck on there now. I don't know how I'll get it out. Worry about that another day. Additionally, let's see some hard acceleration. Yeah, it's perfect today. No bogging, no hesitation. So I also pulled the tank, make sure the pet clock petcock was not clogged checked the fuel lines pulled the spark plug the plug actually looked pretty good it was a light brown color I had an extra one from the previous DRZ 400 I owned back in 2014 so I said why not and I just threw the brand new one in there and whatever combination of things I did seemed to have fixed it because it's running perfectly again today. That spark plug had clearly been pulled before. I could see just from the dings and stuff around the spark plug well that someone had had a tool in there. And the plug I pulled out had anti-seize on it. I'm pretty sure that wouldn't be on there from the factory. I'd said in the past that the seat wasn't that bad, but now riding back to back two days in a row, today it feels about as comfortable as a prostate exam. And I would know I've had several. I've got the prostate of a 70 year old man. As much as I know everyone would love to hear more about that. It is 2.20. I got a very late start today. I also did some more work on the KTM. I got the shock spring swapped out. It was very easy to do. That KTM is so well designed and thought out. Like yeah, you may have to do more maintenance on them, but it's very easy to do. So I'm looking forward to getting that put back together. Today I'm going to ride out Mule Town Road through Whiskey Town, back down Mule Town Road, then head out to my parents' house. I'll take Lower Gas Point Road, just a little bit of dirt. I'm gonna borrow my dad's Bluetooth OBD2 scanner, and I purchased the cable off Amazon, an adapter cable for KTM. I'm not sure if it's gonna work or not, but someone on Thumper Talks said it worked for their 2020 350 so I thought it was worth a shot if not I'll just return it if it does work I think it'll be good information for people to have because there was a, a number of people posting an adventure rider that weren't sure or hadn't been able to yet find a cable that worked on the newer bikes with that scanner I'll be able to just see if there are any fault co I actually don't think there's going to be I think I overthought the whole thing, but I'm just going to double check for peace of mind. See if there are any fault codes and just curious if that scanner and cable will work. Here we are in Mule Town. My favorite. Once Starlink becomes more readily available, I'm going to have to look for a house out here. If I could just ride out my driveway and be on this road 
That would be amazing. Look at that house. Holy shit balls. That is nice. That is real nice. I won't be able to afford that one. This thing is running perfectly now. I'm so happy about that. I was feeling all bummed out. Every time one of these bikes has an issue now, it throws me into a little micro depression. And then I realize it's an opportunity to do some more wrenching, learn some more things, and not be sitting in front of my computer playing video games. I haven't played a video game in a month now, which is very weird. Just been keeping busy with other stuff. Bikes and YouTube and still have some games I'd like to play through, but it's just not something I feel any urgency to need to do anymore. Making a conscious effort to not spend so much time on the computer since I already spend 40 hours a week for work. I'm feeling real Mr. Rogers right now. It's just a beautiful day in the neighborhood. The roller coaster! Whoa! -ho -ho -ho. That feels like one, man. I felt my stomach drop. Nobody out here. Wow. Pop, 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 pop. High speed section. Woo! I don't really have anything clever to talk about today. Not that I ever do. I don't think there's much left for me to talk about on the spike that I haven't already. Guess it's time to buy another bike. So I have something to talk about. My buddy Zendime teased me about buying a Beta. Said I could ride it and make content on it. Then he pushed out. I hear frogs. Hope we didn't run any over. All right, we're gonna head out right through Whiskey Town and turn around and come back through here again. And because I'm a weirdo, I don't get tired of riding the same road over and over again. I would like to find some other roads like these. If you know of any in the area, please let me know. Be a lot of people out enjoying the park today. Good to see. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be an asshole here. How about you stay in your lane? I'm super, thanks for asking. Get my lean on. I ain't talking about that shit they drink in Houston. Come on, baby, uphill. You can do it. Whoa, we're getting this leaned over. Right at that RPM, I had that weird thump in my taint. Wow, I never even knew that whole beach was down there. That's awesome. Maybe I should get out and actually explore the places where I live, huh? So long as I can get there on a dual sport. I'm so happy this thing is running well today. It feels perfect again. What in the Sam hell is that? There's where I turned off earlier. Well, that was random. Road past, there's a dude on a, I'm not gonna even say, he was on a small bike. I don't wanna give any, he asked I not give out any of his personal info. So he was on a small bike and uh, he was just chilling and it looked like he had lost some luggage. Turns out he had had a four pack of Lagunitas IPA on the back and <laughs> it flew off. <laughs> and his beers were busted out there leaking. 
So he's like, I gotta pound these beers real quick. Do you want one? And I was like, sure. So he handed me a beer with a hole in it and uh, I drank it. Got to chatting with him for a while. Really good dude. Yet another random adventure. Yeah, this movie yeah. was shot in 3B. Three beers and it looks good, eh? Oh, yeah. the rammer. So anyway, if you end up watching this, man, thanks for the beer. Appreciate it. Hope we can uh, meet up and ride sometime. Well, there's probably enough footage for one day anyway. Don't know how much longer my battery's gonna last. Hi, doggy. The rest of the ride's gonna be uh, just street, so. Moon's already out. In any case, I think I'll sign off here so I don't have to worry about changing my battery. Thanks for watching if you stuck around this long. And I will catch you next time.